Immortals, I'm Yitzin. Welcome back to Dagon's Drogma Bark Drizzle. We were doing something in the last episode. I think that we were kind of running through and uh, trying to find these wankers, right? The robed wankers down in the dark depths. The dark depraved depths of these catacombs. So, if we're doing that, let's give ourselves holy affinity. Because we kind of need the fire and forget. Uh, there's lots of zombies down here. Looks like Scarby and Gobbo have already gone and taken initiative against some zombies that have just spawned. I'm gonna go ahead and fire off some of these fire and forgets in case there are a few ahead of us, which there were not. Oop, don't want to fall that down there. That is death in a nutshell. Okay. Let's come along here. I see a lot of things down here. That is an ogre. Uh oh. Alright, you guys focus on the ogre. I'll take the ads. We've got an ogre that does necromancy down here. Now, the thing about ogres is that when they see women, they get overly excited, which um, I know a lot of my viewers also uh, have the curse of as well. So what we're going to be doing is we're going to be staying at range, and we're going to be trying to burn him alive with Ingle. Ingle is a really, really good spell early game because it's really, really good against these guys right here. There we go. That's one third of his health bar gone. Let's also fire a wall of fire up right there as well, and we'll tell everybody to aggressively pursue. And I'm firing! Boom! Big wall of fire. Nice! Like Shrek and me, Shrek is love, Shrek is life, Shrek is love, Shrek is- Oh! I shouldn't have looked away from the screen, I almost just got one hit charged, like Val did. Ah, Val, get herself back up. That's literally her superpower. Uh, we're probably gonna get kangaroo kicked. No, we got him. Nice! Excellent! So, I know it's kind of dark down here, but there are a couple of resources that we do kind of want to take for ourselves, like these ogre teeth right here. Want to grab a few of these. And I think in here there are some veins. There are some veins of ore that we probably want to start taking for ourselves, so I'm going to tell Scarby to go and mine these for us. Go, go! I think Gobbo's going to go for it. Nope, it's Scarby. And Val! Nice! Nice! Okay, good. You know, the Shrek is love, Shrek is life thing, I think that deserves a film. A feature length film. Uh, you guys, are you more interested in the skills that I'm casting, or are you more interested in the mini-map? Because I've, I've never really, like, kind of workshopped exactly where I should be positioning myself in this, in this stream right here. I'd watch the film, of course you would, spray paints. Degenerate. Degenerate behaviour. Alright, this is pretty final. It seems pretty final. Are we about to be attacked? Ganked, perhaps? We do kind of want to rush through the story, don't we? We probably want to go this way, actually, don't we? Hello? Anyone in here? I'm kind of following along the little waypoint on the map, but I'm not entirely sure if we can reach it, the direction that we're going. Is this the key door? Ooh. Neat. Okay, let's take a look at our map really quickly. Oops, don't want to put down a marker or anything like that. So this leads up to an exit, which we don't want, do we? Oops, nope, that's not what we want whatsoever. How do we... It was like this, right? Yeah, so we're on the bottom level. Second level looks like there is a way up, up north. But we are going to have to backtrack through this whole goddamn thing. There's a dead end over here as well. The lever that only controls this door. Right. Okay, so we need to go up. We need to go up to the first floor. Hey, Jensen, has there been any songs you've been addicted to recently? And if there is, could you tell me? I'm ashamed. I'm ashamed of my answer. I don't want to tell you. I, I don't want to tell you what song I've been addicted to recently because it's really, really embarrassing. Like, I can't begin to tell you just how embarrassing... It is. It's a pretty crazy one as well. Like, it's it's not even the kind of music that I generally listen to. It's it's just the kind of, I won't make fun of you. Okay. Okay. I, I'll tell you. I'll tell you, okay? If you guys tell me whether or not I should be covering the minimap or the skills that are being cast in real time. I listened to Searle for months. I have no idea who that is. Is that like cringe stuff? That's enough cringe for me? Okay. That answers that question. So, we didn't come down here because there was a, a big troll on the way. So we know that much. But we didn't have to come down here apparently at all. Weird. Very strange. Alright, you want to see the skills? Or you don't mind losing the skills? 
You tell me that, I'll tell you the song I've been addicted to. It is very embarrassing though. Like, <laughs> deeply ashamed of it. Mainly because of where I heard it. Hey, Yinsen, do you do reaction videos? Uh, no, I can't make it transformative. So, I choose not to do reaction content. I also don't really like stealing other people's content. I would probably prefer to, uh... If I could, I would react to someone else's content with the person who made it. That'd be really cool. That would be an awesome, awesome recipe. But I don't really think that I can transform people's pre-made content. Well, because here's, here's how I react to things, right? I just sit there, catatonic, with my mouth open, drooling all over myself, taking in information and then just shutting down all other parts of my body that I would deem unnecessary to be used, with, like my... um like my face and my arms and everything while I'm kind of like in my head, in my head, I'm working. I would not mind if you lost a skill. Okay. Uh, let's go ahead and then swap me to the other side of the screen. So you guys can see the mini map then. And I'll tell you the song. It is Pedro. I'm addicted to the song Pedro. It actually slaps. My God. It is so catchy. I can't begin to describe just how good that song is. You know, the one right with the raccoon dancing over the bin. That is such a good song. Oh, I love it so much. It slaps. So good. I'm a sucker for anything kind of like Spanish influenced. I learned flamenco and then I fell in love with it after I did it. Spell the name out. P-E-D-R-O. Is it Pedro? Oh God, you got me gaslighting myself now. I'm pretty sure it's Pedro. Or maybe that's Napoleon Dynamite. I'll, I'll look it up on the old Spotify. No, it's definitely Pedro. It's definitely Pedro. Pedro, Pedro, Pedro. That's the one. Yep. That's exactly the one. I am half addicted to that song and I'm deeply ashamed of it because I saw it on a TikTok. I don't even like TikTok. I didn't find it on YouTube shorts. Just, just TikTok. Okay, we've got to go all the way back up here, which is absolutely fine. I don't mind that whatsoever. Scarby's having a bit of a glitch, but that's beyond the purview of what I care about. I heard that song way too much recently. I saw it when it was like getting viral and then it just stuck in my ear and I'm not surprised whatsoever that it became viral. Okay, now we're all the way up here. Let's go ahead and check the map again because this game is fairly unforgiving with its directions. Go away. Uh, so what we want to do is basically go backwards and then go through the first part, I suppose. Uh, let's try and open this cage up if we can. We can. Perfect. That's a game changer. Nice. I've been thinking of making an Undertale Australian animation, the, or is it Alternate Universe? The AU being Undertale Heroes of Justice, which is an AU I made. Toby Fox supports any and every endeavor uh, for his Undertale series, as well as uh, Deltarune as well. He just likes when people kind of like takes his works and then expands upon it. What a guy. So many people get really pissed off about that, but you shouldn't. You should never be pissed off about it. You should always... You should always celebrate the community. Like Bethesda used to do with Skyrim before they got really, really crap and released uh, Starfield. Okay, I'm still running through. A lot of these aren't even lit. So I feel like we haven't even been down here yet. Strange. Very strange indeed. Is this a secret door? No. All right, we're probably going to have to read the journal entry for this uh, quest we're doing as well because I don't really see anything useful. Uh, let's go ahead and light this bad boy up. It's empty. Great! Ooh! I'll sub to you so I'm notified. Okay, so, coming around. There is, a, we can open these up, can't we? What is that? Light cure? Yuck. That is revolting. Uh, absolute waste of my time. Didn't even, shouldn't even pick them up, really. There is a lever right here. I'm pretty sure this is just going to close the gate, right? We'll find the mechanism faster with more light. No, it did nothing. So, we're actually really, really close to where we need to be. We need to be one floor up, unfortunately. I don't know how to get there. I know that we're in the right place. I just don't know how to actually go to the objective for once. This is a first. Now, Dragon's Dogma 2 does have an awesome quality of life feature that every single one of you is going to absolutely adore when you first see it. And that's that uh, NPCs that you are playing the game with will take initiative. NPCs in the party. They will take initiative. If... Uh, you kind of set a quest and they know where to go. They'll walk ahead of you and they'll say, hey, I know where to go. Why don't you follow me? And you can basically tell them, go. And then they'll just run towards the quest objective. Lead you to it. That is such a good...
good little um quality of life. This leads down into the category. Why did you draw a bold frisk? Okay. So let's go ahead and figure out why we are in the wrong spot. Where are we going? This should be another little area, right? There's a catacombs rear passage that kind of met up to this little icon here. This should lead straight into the catacombs, where we want to be. I'm pretty sure we're even on the right floor as soon as we walk into here, aren't we? No, we're not even on the right floor. So this is, what the hell is going on? Okay. So first floor, that's not where this is. First level underground. Ah, okay. So we probably need to go down this ladder right here. Instead of going down the lift, that probably makes the most sense, honestly. I know every single veteran of Dragon's Dogma is sitting there uh, just shouting the answer at me, saying, oh, Jensen, you idiot, you should know better. Ah, perfect. The only locked door. Wow. Okay, so down here is new territory, isn't it? We could probably get ourselves a lantern, but I can see in the dark just fine. I don't see why I would need that. I am going to go ahead and give myself holy affinity. Be ready. It comes. What's this? Please? Okay, good. Oh, we've got phantasms down here. That's really bad. Uh, let's go ahead and give this to us before they possess one of us. I'm going to go ahead and just fire these in front of us. Just in case some phantasms kind of like try and gank us. Because as you can see, they penetrate walls, which is very annoying. I'm just going to start firing these off, see if one of them actually hits somebody after they attack us. Yep, we're being attacked by skeletons. Good, 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 good. Nailed those ones. Okay, looks like we're pretty good so far. Someone took the gigantic sack of money from their crypt, which is pretty handy. What else we got? There is a chest over there. Uh, this guy, this little skeleton, has to die. Uh, good, that one's dead now too. What are you guys aiming your shield at? Have you? What have you learned? Okay, Scarby. Wow. We want to build Scarby into kind of like a grappling main, don't we? I'm firing this so that when they actualize. Yes, there we go. Good. What do we got? Small coin pouch and Maya's my shot. That's a material. That's not actually anything uh, necessarily useful. Okay. What are you doing tomorrow? Me? What am I doing tomorrow? Ah, Gems of Salvation. Good. So I know exactly the quest we're doing now. And a coin purse of charity. If we combine that with a snake skin, we can actually finish a uh, rather tricky order. Yeah, I don't know what I'm doing tomorrow. I'm probably going to uh, be kind of alternating the three games that I have been playing. Oops, I think I just got cursed. Basically until I finish one of them. And Thursday and Friday is going to be request days. If I'm really kind of like taken by one of the request games, I'll keep on doing it in the days where I pick the games. But until then, I'm just going to be going with the Holy Trinity of Dragon's Dogma, Hydraenea... Whoop, we're being attacked. And there was one other that I have been playing as well, just kind of in the background, that I don't want to give up either. Just yet. I don't remember what it was, though. Empty flask. Useless. Okay, let's go and loot these crypts. Nothing in there. Nothing in there. Remnant? That's it, yes. Uh, no, I am saving Remnant. I uh, am kind of like working towards another little project. You've probably you heard me talk about a bunch of stuff that I've got going on in the background of the YouTube. Um, a bunch in the stream already. Like probably a bit too much. Oops, that almost fell on me. But I am kind of um, working on getting an app made. And I know that sounds real tech bro of me. But the point of the app is kind of to do a bunch of uh, kind of cool stuff. And it's definitely going to tie into the Remnant really, really well. So I'm going to save Remnant for when I've got that app developed as kind of like a, uh, what would you call it? A promotional thing. It's, it's basically uh, an app for gamers, like a, a little companion for gamers. Ah, perfect. Another gem of salvation. That's awesome. We need five of these bad boys. Uh, probably need to, why do we run like that? Probably need to give ourselves some holy affinity because I do see a skeleton sorcerer in front of us. What point do you want to start the FNAF series? Oh, that could be much sooner. That could be way sooner. Like, uh, way, 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 way sooner than uh, than finishing Remnant. Okay, good. Nice. Uh, let's go ahead and take the second gem of salvation. Oh, hello there. I didn't see you. Sorry, friendo. I think that uh, skeleton mage felt a little bit left out. Oh, I bet that one feels a little bit left out as well. Oh, well. In the ground you go. 
Where? Oh my god. Where did you go? How did you get there? That's weird. Human that move on own. <laughs> oh my god, Gobbo is such a pain in the ass to have to listen to. Okay, what's on the other side of here? That is Jewel of Silence. Pretty nice. I'll take that. We'll use that against a white at some point. And I'm not talking about the color. What do you mean, Skeleton Mage? Oh, I see. Don't worry, I see it. You guys want to pick up that book at my feet? You negligent dickheads? Okay, it's coming. Okay, we got one. Good, perfect. Uh, let's go ahead and check in here. Rotten Ambrosial Meat, that's useless to us. Unless we uh, want to give ourselves mad diarrhea, but I don't necessarily think that's exactly what we want at all. Ah, uh, good, we found the first gem, so that's four of five. Oh, no! We don't want to be inside of that. That is a curse. Hooey! Isn't yes, I made some amazing shorts you should watch soon? I'll take a look after this game ends. How does that sound? Well, maybe not the game ends, but after the stream. Perhaps for the anniversary, aka the 8th. That could be a good idea. Or the week after that, since it's Suggestion Day. I'm probably going to be getting to them during Suggestion Day when people kind of have got their fill of all of these Undertale games that people are just insisting that I keep playing. Because I know there's really, really good the series on YouTube of Five Nights at Freddy's already. Just not by me. Whoa, that was close. We almost took that one right to the face. Uh, like, Markiplier has done an exceptional series on Five Nights at Freddy's. I'm not sure if I could do better than him. I'll try. I'll try my best, as I always do, but... Man, that's crowning glory of Mark Blyer's channel. <laughs> Gonna be hard to top. So this one here requires five gems. We've got four of them, I think. We're about to slot. Yes, we need one more. Okay, one more, and we are done here. We may have to go downstairs, which we can do. Sure. Yeah, yeah, I'll take a look. I'll take a look. Every time someone does make content... Oh, actually, you know what? If you do make edits or something, put them in the fan art channel on the Discord. Because uh, that's kind of where I'm trying to collate everything that people make relevant to me. And then I can kind of like, I can, I can enjoy it as everybody else is enjoying it too. I'd rather watch you than watch Markiplier. Your moustache is objectively better. <laughs> Thank you so much. I know, Markiplier's moustache is, is significantly worse in just about every single way. I'm, I'm quite self-aware about this, um, about the... The pros and cons of Markiplier's uh, potential moustache. It's not a great moustache. He can grow one. What do you mean, it's me? Not over with them, fool. Hurry and find the one controlling them further on. Go and... We'll not who said that? The key. Who said that? I don't even know who said that. That was crazy. Your moustache is peak. <laughs> Did anybody read the, um, oh, uh, the, the polls channel? The frequently asked questions in the polls channel? Just like the last one in there was, Jensen, your moustache is so great! And the response is, uh, that's not a question, but thank you so much. <laughs> I think the gym might be upstairs as well. I think, I think we may have gone a little bit too far. Yeah, I was just having a little bit of fun with that one. Quite fun. Yes, I did. <laughs> Jensen would not be him without his moustache. Yeah, that's what I keep telling people who tell me to shave it. They're like, I want to see you baby-faced. And I'm like, I don't want to be baby-faced. It's a, it's, a, it's a part of my personality now. I am literally half moustache. Besides, you can get away with so many more things if you have a moustache. Like, just being a dick. <laughs> you can get away with so much more with a moustache. Can't really get away with it with like a neckbeard or anything like that. If you get a neckbeard and you start acting like a dick, people start typecasting you as uh, a neckbeard. And justifiably so, because you are doing the actions that people would probably consider to be neckbeardy. Okay. So we need to go back pretty far. I don't know how far back we need to go, though. Necessarily. Oh, no, I think actually there was kind of like another roundabout way just further along, wasn't there? I think so. But moustache, you win? Butt moustache. I don't have any butt moustache. No, I don't have that. I shave it. I'm going to move on to uh, nearing as well because of that guy on YouTube who neared his butthole right into the camera. It was, it was an education that nobody wanted nor asked for, and quite frankly, everybody's scarred for having seen it, but I'm going to start doing it anyway, because now I know better. You know, I, I can do, I can do that. Now I know how. <laughs> what the hell? Yeah, I know, right? I didn't want, I didn't ask for that. I didn't ask for a face full of goatsy. Wait, are we just supposed to, like, drop down there? Is that where the staircase ends? No, so that's just going to lead down to the staircase. All right, we're missing one gem. 
One gemstone. I have no idea. That's not here, is it? I thought I already looked in here. No, definitely not. Weird. Okay. I thought it was going to be significantly further along, but maybe not. Strange. Maybe it's like hidden in the darkness somewhere. In here, maybe? Nope. No coffins there. Okay. Uh, I'm not seeing it. What about this broken area? Actually, what is this? Oh, there's a dead end at the end of here. Oh, hello there, Skellington. Uh, guys, I need you to engage with that Skellington. My magic is uh, significantly weaker. Okay, good. Also, we're on hard mode as well, which is pretty funny. I'm talking about you versus Markiplier. I'm, I'm sure there's room to talk about shaving my butt as well, surely. Nice, thank you, Val. I think she took a curse just so we could find that Moonbeam gem. Nope, Moonbeam is... Darker isn't DLC. We've just got the gemstone. You have a better moustache than Markiplier. Okay, 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 okay. I don't know, like, uh, the thing is, like, the series. I'm not sure if I could compete with the series, because his Five Nights at Freddy's series uh, was the thing that really kicked off my love for the fandom in the first place. It was, it was him that did it. I don't want to give him the credit for it, but I, he did. He, he kicked off my love for, for everything. Oh, found a small coin pouch. Nice. That was not worth our time to pick up. It was only 100 bucks. Especially when every second monster craps out a giant sack of 10 grand. Whew. Undertale and Deltarune, a very good series from Jacksepticeye. Oh, I didn't know that. I've been watching him play the Elden Ring DLC recently. Because uh, I played Elden Ring, but I, I played... I, no one's going to want to watch me play that. Because the way I played Elden Ring was kind of like a stealth assassin. I stealthed every single boss in Elden Ring except for Melania. I, as in, I took them out bef without them actually detecting me. That I came across. Not including, like, the ones in the mine downstairs. I wouldn't consider them bosses. It is an honor to have you come so far to meet us. Hello, Ballsack. You here seeking the source of the skeletons? Or have you no. just come to rid us of a few traitors? My thanks, by the by. But I've come to kill. I see no call for secrets. It was salvation loose those bone warriors upon the land. They are an experiment, a vanguard. All in preparation for the day of reckoning to come. You shall have an honored place among them, Arisen. Aye, your bones shall lead the march as the Red Dawn breaks. Oh no, is this a boss fight? That's not what I expected. Ah! Knowledge, no Guys, Vanquish! Knowledge. Vanquish the skeleton's master! Oh my god, I think Scarby just one-hit him. She did! Oh my god! Go, Scarby! Go, Scarby! What the hell? Where did Cobo go? I'll take that. What? Can someone clip that? Can someone clip what Gobbo just did? Because he just exploded and flew off into the sky. What the hell? Okay, we killed Ballsack. We killed D's nuts. That feels good. Let's see what goodies he had for us. Let's see what goodies Ballsack had for us. Crimson Teeth. Oh, that would be so good if we had a rogue, but we don't. We don't have a rogue. We're just using Gobbo LeGob as an NPC. Uh, we're probably going to have to replace him as well because he's probably lagging behind in terms of levels. So All right, Val is uh, always going to be level 60, but her whole purpose is to heal us. That's why I've got her there. Gobbo is level 44, so he is kind of lagging behind our level 47s, but he's not doing terribly bad, actually. He's, he's still keeping up. I think we'll keep him for another, maybe a, a, another few in-game days. Might be a good idea. Let's check the map again. Ah. I found out Deltarune from Yub. I love Yub's content. I don't know who Yub is. Although I'm I'm a doer, not a viewer these days. I don't even give myself time to watch Markiplier's videos anymore. I know he played Sons of the Forest, and I, I want to watch him do that, but I also want to play that game for myself as well, so I don't think I'm actually going to end up watching it. It looks really funny, though. I saw the, the premise that he had, which is like, oh, yeah, Bob and Wade, I hate them. They All they did was screw around, and I wanted to see horrible monstrosities beyond human comprehension. That's a, a great premise. Okay, where else are we going now? That's the next question. Are we going downstairs? Are we going upstairs? What's going on? What's going on? Where is this one? Where is this icon right here? Uh, is it on the third level? Oh, it actually is. Weird. How do we get down there? I don't know if there's kind of like a path that we... Oh, there is! Right, that's what the staircase is for. Ha ha ha. Jensen looks for goodies and ball sacks? Absolutely! There are so many goodies and ball sacks. 
Like, um... D's nuts? I guess. I don't know where I was going with that, but I was going to finish strong. Even if it wasn't very funny. Oh. Only watch Markiplier fa play for NAF. Yeah, me too. Me too. I tried to get into Dorco, but he's too, like, he's too flaily when he plays. It's like, a little bit distracting. Like, Markiplier throwing a chair? That's funny. That's funny. If he's throwing a chair for the whole video, it's, I find it distracting, honestly. Lol. Well, are you guys laughing at that real crap ball sack one-liner that I just pulled it out of my bottom? Or like the uh, Dorco flailing take? Because it's... I, I, I really want to like him. He's contributed so much to the fandom and I really want to like him. But I, I can't sit through a whole video of his. Dorco is a bit much? Okay, good. I didn't realise this was like a general consensus. I thought that it was kind of like a... Um, I thought it was it was just something that that... You know, I kind of gaslit myself into thinking, oh, yeah, well, Dorco's just, like, he's, he's famous. He's famous and everyone likes him. And uh, I'm the odd one out. But, no, it's, it's really good to know that I am not the odd one out in this instance. That brings me peace. Thank you, guys. Thank you so much. I was feeling a little bit... It was one of the things I had insecurities about when it comes to YouTubers. Also, we're going to have to walk all the way back home, which is annoying. That's a, it's going to be a long walk through the catacombs in the darkness with these tiny, stumpy legs. Which I am definitely noticing the movement speed of. We can actually see a lot of our, our dudes are just following behind at a, at a very brisk jog. And they're still keeping up. Whereas we are full on sprinting. We are clapping these legs. We are clapping these legs harder than an anime booby streamer on Twitch. <sighs> that is what it is. I mean, I like the guy, but he is a bit much. Exactly. Exactly. That's my feelings also. I like him, but... Oh, it's, it, it would be... Being around him would be such a noisy place to be. I also, you got to wonder how much of it is like put on for the camera too. Because I always wonder. I always wonder just how much of Dorco is actually Dorco. Anime booby streamer? Yeah, 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 yeah. You know, you know those, um, oh, well, I suppose they don't have to be like anime streamers. But those, those girls that go on Twitch and they've got enormous bazingas, right? And they wear green screens. And uh, they just kind of sit there staring at the webcam while there's like some gameplay footage. Subway surfers on one nipple, uh, Fortnite on the other, and the whole purpose of sitting there is... Um, oh, I shouldn't say it on YouTube. You, you're, you all know what the purpose of the booby streamers are. Bro, I was going to get his SCH used against him and caught in like 15 years. Yeah, booby streamers. They've got like massive thighs. No, I back... Oh, advantage. what are we being attacked by? Take that. Don't tell me it's the rat. Are you seriously... Oh, I just got bit by the rat! Fortunately, Gobbo Le Gobbo is here to break every barrel and rat in the area. All right, how close are we to the entrance? Because we need to go back to the entrance, I think, through this menu. I'm a little rusty with the controls. A little bit. Each game, one each nipple. <laughs> well, are you, are you what-the-helling the rat? I'm what-the-helling the rat. Ah, okay, so the objective is now to leave. So there is no objective anymore. Uh... I was going to stand in that cloud of healing, but I just realized that there's actually a healing spring outside the front door, so I'm not going to worry about that too much. I think there is going to be a chimera just kind of like hanging out outside, though. Maybe we can go and do a, a big fight, do a nice chimera fight. I like the chimeras, actually. They're a fun fight. I'm glad that they kept them for Dragon's Dogma 2. Okay, so I don't think I ever clarified this as well, by the way, but I did say that I wanted to 100% this game. When I say that, I mean beat the game. As in, see all of the enemies, see all of the bosses, get through the Everfall pretty well, go and see Dark Arisen, fight all of those enemies. I'm not going to be collecting every single piece of gear. Because I watched my best friend Carl do that, and he spent, I kid you not, 300 hours rolling for rings in the DLC. Because the rings can uh, spawn with two properties, and there's quite a few properties that they could be. Also, properties of varying degrees of efficiency, so... He rolled for every single one of those rings, and it took him 300 hours. It's ridiculous. Oh my god. Yeah, I know, right? It's absolutely insane. Like, Dragon's Dogma 2, because there hasn't been a lot of uh, DLC or updates to kind of add a lot of stuff to the game, as opposed to Dark Arisen, which adds the post-game to the game, it's, uh, I'm, I'm not going to be doing it. Dragon's Dogma 2 is really lenient on how you kind of collect all the gear. It is kind of weird that they have kind of like a... A limit for storage space. I'm kind of looking around for Chimera as well. If we can fight one at night, that'd be cool. 
Or even like a, a lich would be pretty cool as well. Don't know what time it is at night though. I think it's just entering night time. I know it looks really dark, but I think we're just entering. Oh, there's a phantasm just over there. Oh, almost fell off the ledge. I see a, I see a light this way. I'm gonna go this way. Come on guys. Come on guys. Good, they're all falling off the ledge. Nice. Oh, that's a skellington. Uh, we should probably actually give ourselves, go, gobbo. Don't be such an ass. We gotta give ourselves holy affinity. We definitely want the fire and forget pepper pot. Damn it, we just got hit, that's not good. Uh, what happened to go, everybody? Oh, nice, that one crapped out 10 grand. I just tried to grab that tree, that's embarrassing. Uh, no, not fire affinity, let's give ourselves holy affinity. What the hell is a skellington doing? Oh, he's attacking us. Wow, guys. There is a healing spring literally right next to us. We could probably actually just go there. Okay, I'm gonna do that. Let's go to the healing spring. Cause I think there is a lich that guards it as well and that'd be good experience. This way, guys. Come on, we're going on a road trip. We're ignoring the skeletons. We're going on a road trip. Probably actually just check the map first. Oh, that was a fun little exploit I just did there. Whoops, hope nobody saw that. <laughs> Uh, we probably want to collect Moonglow as well. No, that's Jasper Blossom. Who? Yuck. Gross. Uh, let's check the map. Map. What's this? Healing Spring. Yeah, we're right ahead of it. It's probably on the other side of this rock, to be quite honest. On my way. Sorry, I just had the snuffles and I didn't want to blow it right into the mic, so I muted myself real quickly there. Why did I even tell you guys that? How would you even know if I didn't... But if I didn't tell you, you guys wouldn't have known! It would just look like I had some kind of twitch in my eye. All right, good. We are going to give ourselves holy, and we're gonna get into this here big dingle dangle. The the pee water of this dingle dangle. There we go. It restores our stamina at an alarming rate as well, which is pretty good. Getting lots and lots of health too. It's also raising our cap too. So maybe we are not going to find a chimera around the place, to be quite honest. Maybe we will find a lich. That is pretty slim chance, though. Pretty slim chance of finding a lich. Still gonna look, obviously. I'm still gonna look around. Sounds close. Running water, sounds close. Uh, there's a phantasm over there. We could probably actually just cheese it with our holy. Boom, 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 boom. This place becomes your tomb. Oh, it's significantly further away than I thought it was. Oop. And here we go. Oh, well, sucks to be those skeletons. Sucks to be those skeletons indeed, because we got a faff. We got a fire and forget. Okay, good. And down they go. Any more? Okay, someone just face tanked a, a big hit. I think it was Gobo Lagob. But it didn't necessar necessarily do a lot else. Uh, we've got a giant coin pouch here. Nice. Another 10 grand. And in the, in, there's a drop in the bucket, honestly, at this point. Uh, we're basically just waiting. Okay, let's actually use our common sense. We're going to take our tool and we are going to throw it up into the sky so that we can go back to Grand Sorin. We'll hand everything in, I think. I think that's going to be the thing. Okay, good. Watch your step. The city has too many high places from which to fall. I don't care. We want to do a sleep while we're here and we probably want to pass the top. Whoa. Look at this warrior. Oh, if only we didn't have Scarby. Do we want to start building Scarby? Oh, no, we need the Gloves of Might. So when we get the Gloves of Might, we can start building Scarby out as a grappling main, an unarmed grappling main, which is going to be how I build into her. She's going to be a... She's literally going to be um, John Cena. Dun, 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 dun. Dun, 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 dun. Bye. Bye-bye, DJ. It appears my Robux company needs me. Goodbye, my good sir. Goodbye, guys. I feel like you are going somewhere together. Uh, we're protection. We're protection. Let's go ahead and deposit these things that we have accrued. Potent green warish. Probably don't need this if we've got all the spring water. Panacea. Secret softener. Very important. Let's keep them on us. I'm just going to deposit all of this other crap that we have accrued. And now let's go to... Scarby, we probably just want to dump everything in her inventory. Yuck. Uh, just get it out of the way. Don't want to dump that spring water from Val because she's going to heal us with it. Gobbo's done. Gobbo's got a coin purse of charity. We're definitely going to keep that in our inventory. We will keep Val's pickaxe. Get rid of some of these more endgame items from her inventory. 
And now Scarby can keep these flasks of oil because she has a lantern and we do not. Let's go ahead and go down into the materials because we have lots of materials. Probably should have checked our own tools as well. Just to make sure. If there was a button that just dumped all of the raw materials straight into the inventory, that would have been fantastic. Uh, let's go ahead and check the tool. Yeah, there's a bunch of tools. I'm going to put one of these in there. Flask of water, we need that. Jewel of health, don't need that. Don't need any of this crap, actually. Uh, let's go ahead and go back down to materials so we can see Val's materials. She's got plenty. I'm eeping. Uh, yeah, that's what I thought you were doing. Um, uh, don't, uh, don't forget to wear protection. Wear protection, my dude. It's the responsible thing, especially if you're going to eat. Uh, we probably want to keep these two on us, these two special items here, in case we encounter Maul or one of the other guys. Why does Scarby have three sides? Good God, she's got like a death fetish. Whoops, didn't mean to do that. The controls for this game, by the way, are super strange. Okay, we've got crimson teeth. Uh, good. Scarby has some rusted daggers, which are probably not amazing. Val is Aiden's warden. What? Where the hell did you get that, Scarby? Val. Oh, my days. That is a really overpowered weapon, especially for now. It's got a permanent holy enchantment on it. Oh, look, Ballsack dropped a set of Salvation Robes. Good for him. Yeah, Holy is probably the most potent and universal damage type that you could do in the game. Fire kind of tapers off once you start fighting monsters rather than anything else. And, well, I suppose fire is just kind of useful in the, in the previous areas anyway. What is useful in the later game areas is Holy. We are going to be basically giving that sword straight to Scarby because it has a permanent Holy enchantment. I think I said that like four times, right? Let's go ahead, go into our equipment screen, I think. We'll go over to Val. And we'll give Val's Eden's Warden to Scarpy, who apparently has one. Wait, did I get it mixed up? Oh, no, that's a flame enchanted one. We already have it. Okay, let's deposit that regardless. I can't remember what the holy one is then. I can't remember what the holy one is called. Uh, let's go over to Scarby and we'll go down to weapons. We'll get rid of that one Eden's Warden. We're pretty heavy. Got to be said, we are very, very over encumbered. We probably also want to take a look at Scarby's skills because she might be pretty much good to go for another class. Probably not skills. We probably want to go into vocation. Yep. And we want to go over to Scarby. Right. So we want to max out the fighter class first. Uh, she was a strider. She's almost maxed out Warrior. What else? Nothing else. So when we get her to vocation max rank with the fighter, she'll have lots and lots of real good defensive skills. Strider will give her some damage buffs. Warrior will give her some physical attack buffs. And then we'll get her basically unarmed as a ranger, an unarmed ranger. I think that'd be a really good idea because the rangers and the striders, they tend to climb on enemies a lot more often than you'd give them credit for. So we gave her a rusty bow, she would be able to slow enemies, and then with that rusted bow, she'll be able to climb the enemies afterwards too. Well, I suggest you get a bit of Neo! Maybe. Maybe. We did find a, a cool weapon that we wanted, but unfortunately Scarby here already had it. I don't even remember if Scarby is ours. Yes, it is. Uh, Val is now digging around for money in the, in the town square. Val? Do you have no shame? I suppose she's immortal. Like, literally cannot die, so why would she have shame? All right, uh, we probably want to go and hand in this quest, and then we'll go ahead and maybe go and do a couple of vanity quests. I think something that we want to do. It's good for that hodgy mama. Have you seen Scarby before? Scarby is a, a force of absolute nature. How do I get over there? Right here. She's a big buff lady. She knows exactly how to take on the, uh, the enemies at face value. Val can go crap himself. Uh, Val is a do, a uh, chick. Val is a chick. She's got, um, a, I'll show you, actually. I'll show you. Uh, it's been a wee while since we've given everybody a rundown of our equipment, right? So Scarby here has Eden's Warden and the Scorch Pelter. Now, the Scorch Pelter does less physical resistance than a lot of the shields at our point, but what it does give us is a huge amount of magic resistance. So we've got a very good balance of resistance with that. Got the Eden's Warden, which is a, a sword with permanent fire. She is wearing the circlet because I like looking at her face. I spent ages making it. We basically got her in the Chaos Armor set, which is one of the kind of like DLC armor sets, the early game DLC armor sets. It looks really cool. 
Spray paints. Hey there. Hey there, spray paints. But does she know how to make mac and cheese? She does actually know how to make mac and cheese. Uh, she basically just puts a pot of mac and cheese on the shield right here, and it cooks up real well. So we've got her basically uh, kitted out in a tank gear. We've got a nice cape. We've also given her the swordsman ring, which gives her blink strike, I think. Yeah, so that basically makes the blink strike uh, OP. It's overpowered. So uh, it's a minimal stamina requirement, and when she uses blink strike, she just darts forward. Which, if the enemies are in a group, kills many of them. And then she just does that again, because I'm pretty sure it's literally her only skill. So she's just a blink strike spam. Which I had another character kind of um, lined up to do, and as soon as he hit the infinite level... Uh, man, he's, uh, he won't let you get a single kill. I watched him one hit a Cyclops once. If you ever want to start playing Roblox, then you should really play Project Soul Skirmish. Stick in the game requests. I'll get to them eventually. I'll do like a day where I just play Roblox games, uh, uh, open lobby Roblox games with people. One of my fave games I've seen. Roblox, Roblox. wait, what the 50% off? Boo, hey Z, how you doing? We're playing Dagon's Dogma. Documents they left behind shed some light on Salvation's actions as of late. It really? seems the skeletons were an attempt to bolster their numbers. Thought I do not relish. What's more, it was their own members' bones they put to use. Newly joined believers made living sacrifices. That's disgusting. They returned from flesh to living bone by some dark art, all as a part of some experiment. The writings claim that bone warriors wrought from living men are stronger than those come from corpses. Even for a cult of madmen to visit such atrocities upon their own. What is a horror? Oh! So that's the backstory of all the skeletons in the game. The cult of self- I always wondered how they fit into the game. Because they, they just kind of seem like a red herring MacGuffin antagonist. That doesn't really accomplish anything because of, you know, the climax of what happens with the cult. But it seems like they're kind of like the necromancy cult that summoned all the skeletons in the first place. Interesting. Interesting indeed. And one now hopefully at an end. Again, you have my thanks, Arisen. Pray accept this small token for your efforts. Nice! We got some cool stuff. Awesome. You tired, Z? First day back at work since being sick and I'm exhausted. Yeah, tell me about it. Yin said and I were sleeping in this morning uh, unintentionally. Our alarm didn't go off. Our Google Assistant let us down for literally the first time in four years. A real big shame. It's not even a children's game at this point. Yeah, Roblox, I mean, it should be a children's game. They should just make it a children's game. Because uh, the absolute tone-deaf developers at Roblox, the CEO, came out saying, hey, we're going to add a, a dating platform for Roblox, which is just the stupidest, actively stupidest decision that you could stick into what the world would consider a kid's game, Right. What do I own that everybody else uses that, but I don't? Uh, PPs. Got to be PPs. My name? Hey, that's a pretty good one. That's a good one. He did beat you, troll living under the bridge, handing out random riddles at uh, unsolicited passers-by. He, he got you. He could pass your bridge. The incident allows freedom of speech here? Yep, he does. As long as you're brave enough to uh, deal with the consequences of the fallout of that freedom of speech. You know, burn your own bridge, dig your own grave kind of stuff. The answer is coconuts. Ooh. Hello, it was... How do I spell yintset? Uh, Y-N-S-E-T-T-E. -T -T -E. It's funny, actually. Uh, that's her Steam name. So uh, you should have kind of like a, a, a notification on your Steam as well, personally. If I can summon coconuts, can I say that I nut it? Yeah, you can actually. You definitely can say that. I've got auto-moderation on YouTube, though, so YouTube might limit your freedom of speech, which, you know, goes against my core ideals, but still a better platform than Twitch. Still a better platform than Rumble. They suck. They suck real bad. And they're both owned by, uh... Well, I suppose uh, Twitch is owned by Amazon, which is, yeah, pretty unethical. But at the same time, Rumble is owned by a casino, an actual casino. I can't join Discord because I can't chat. No, that's fine. Thank you. How late was Yin set to work today? No, she wasn't late. She was only w late w waking up. So she woke up, she skipped breakfast, and then just uh, got in the car and I drove her to work, unfortunately. Roblox is meant for kids. Don't try to say the opposite. I don't think it was intentionally made for kids initially. I think that the 
CEO of Roblox um, has probably got the biggest bolt through his brain, right? Since that guy that got the railway spike through his head. Because it, it seems like he is smoking crack when it comes to what he expects the game to be. He thinks that adults exclusively play Roblox and thus it needs a dating platform like Tinder. Can you believe that? I can literally think of no better way to corporatize grooming than sticking a dating platform on Roblox. It was the stupidest idea in the world. I'm also going to sleep here. Let's go ahead and do a rest. Uh, we have convicted Fornival to death, thankfully. So we're probably going to witness a public execution in a couple of days after we wake up. We're about to get the notification about when it ends. Roblox was meant to be for all ages, but it's not to be a... Sim? Okay. Or a gory game? Roblox used to be a physics test platform. All I know is that Roblox replaced the Lego games because it was better. Dating platform on Minecraft would also work. Yeah, but you don't have like 20 children on every single Minecraft server. That's the, th that's the thing. Like if you put a dating platform on Minecraft, then you would get actual people like talking and connecting because it's generally like when you go into a, a random Minecraft lobby, there's just one person there and they're the host, right? So on, on Roblox, if, if that's a dating platform, you got 20 kids in that lobby expecting to see some pizzle. Like, it's it, it's a self-fulfilling prophecy for felonies. It's the worst idea in the world. David Balsack is the worst CEO? Yeah, with a name like that, Jesus Christ. Minecraft YouTubers already have a dating platform and it's underage kids. I suppose they do kind of have a dating platform, don't they? Yeah, it's a shame. It's, 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 it's a shame that the world has come to this. I mean, miners? Oh, right, I get it, I get it, I get it. Yeah, because they're mining, right? And they're crafting. Crafty. Miners. Put them together. Felony. Not on the public Minecraft servers. They have 10k people plus. The a cap. Cap. No, there's no shot that there's 10,000 people on a Minecraft server. That's got to be so recent as well, because the last time I was playing Minecraft was like 2018. Although it was on console. I thought that... I thought that, um... Minecraft was still a... I thought it, on PC you still had to use like Hamachi and stuff to get servers to, to go. Because I'm still getting ads these days on my, on my private YouTube saying, Hey, uh, uh, rent our server. 20 bucks and you get your own server. I'm like, what the hell? Come on, guys. Inquest will soon begin. Let's yes. Deliver our findings. Okay, let's go and see what we have done. The, the pain that we have wrought. A promised meeting. Oh, Mason wants us to take him to Bloodwater Beach. Did we put a... I think we may have put a little doot right there, actually. Let's go to Granzy's. Bloodwater Beach. That's way down here. No, we haven't put a port crystal there. I think we may have moved this one here to the Shadow Fort from Bloodwater Beach, which is just down here. 10k was cat, but they do have quite a lot. Yes, I knew it. I knew it. Oh, yeah, Spamton committed a felony. He was locked up, guys. This is, that's his whole backstory. That's what he... Uh, that's his whole deal. This is all Bill. Okay. Let's see how this guy died. Public execution time! Guillotines! Woo! Hide your bankers. Here we go. Order. I will have order. S sorry. <clears throat> this inquest has its conclusion. Mm-hmm. Fornival Frescobaldi... That's his last name. In the name of his grace, Duke Edmund Dragonsbane, the court hereby proclaims its verdict. Guilty. Woo! Whereas you have deceived your fellow man to sate your avarice, the court sentences that. you to life imprisonment. Oh! No! This inquest is hereby ended. Well, that was disappointing. I was hoping for a guillotine or maybe like a blunt axe on a on a log or, but no, like drown him in the fountain, something like that. What a damp fart! Oh, top two popular Minecraft servers at the moment have 4K users on one and 5.3. Are they at the same time though? That would be my my major question because you would probably need some kind of server farm to actually support that kind of infrastructure. 
That is so many people. Like, so, so many people. Oh, and the, you know, the, the rest of uh, the chat is just um, doxing themselves by admitting a bunch of felonies and stuff. That's, uh, okay. Okay! All right! I, I'm sorry to hear that, Spamton. How about we never bring this up again, eh? It's, uh... All right! <laughs> oh, my God! No, no, no! No, no, no! No, 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 no! <laughs> oh. Okay, I'm going back to the game. Do I do I have to hide chat from YouTube? Are we going to start admitting a bunch more felonies and stuff? Because you could do that on Rumble or Twitch. They won't give two hoots, but, you know, here I, I probably have to censor all of that. <laughs> okay, so let's go ahead. We'll go and harass Aldous, who's probably going to give us another quest. We'll go up here. This guy's carrying a bunch of stuff. I wonder if we can make him drop it by bumping into him. No. Uh, yes, I am hard at work. Word of Fornival's verdict has come. He was judged guilty. It was us. We did that. It was a fair trial and thorough. Justice was done, thanks in great part to your efforts. I am not without pity for him and his house, but such are the wages of wickedness. And for you, sir, the wages of diligence. Take it with my thanks. All right, what did he pay us for sentencing this guy to life imprisonment? A hundred grand! Jesus, my dude, hey! You, 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 need any, uh, you need anybody else locked up in the slammer? Many within the castle praise your bold deeds of late. I pray such good works continue apace. Uh-huh. I have more tasks that require your attention. Pray, make your choice, sir. Alright, let's recover the stolen item, because this is actually an essential for our build as well. It grieves me to report an item was stolen from the castle's stores a few days past. It was a possession of the Dukes, and a treasure of the realm. The Worm King's Ring. Speeds up casting speed if it's in your inventory. The band was stolen under heavy watch. I fear it to be the work of someone within the castle. But first, the ring must be reclaimed. Will you do it, sir? You would do well to begin by asking the men and women of the castle what they know. That ring is a treasure to all Grancis, and a symbol of the Duke's authority. It must be found. All right, this guy is definitely going to get something that looks like that ring back. But unfortunately, it's too powerful to just give back to the Duke, especially when the Duke is um, about to get cut. We're about to bugger his wife. I think that we have uh, finally unlocked the section of the game where we get to um, go and, and, and finally uh, fiddle with the, with the princess. We just need to find her handmaiden. Hello, sir. What are you doing? Staring at this gate. Why are you sweeping outside? That doesn't make any sense. This is gravel. The dragon's fearsome, no doubt. But we'll be safe here in the castle. R right? You simple? You simple, sir? <laughs> All right. What a twit. Hey, guys, seriously, don't talk about this. <laughs> this is not something that you guys want out there in the open. Oh, hell, yes. Uh, Scarpy's vocation just increased. That may be the top. That may be, that may be the top slot. Okay. Uh, yeah, guys, keep yourself safe. Don't dox yourself. Especially if there's something that you shouldn't be doing. Uh, <laughs> quite frankly, just, just don't invite the opportunity. Fortnite emoting in jail. Oh my god, uh, so, we're changing the topic now, by the way. We are changing the topic. I have a little bit of a story um, that is not the uh, story that is currently being told in chat. I have a story. A week and a half ago, me and my best buddy Carl, we went all the way over to our gym. And we had a workout. And while we were working out there, there was this guy in the stretching area doing a bunch of dances. And it didn't take me long to recognise that he was practising TikTok dances at a gym. Very weird. Um, the more I thought about it, the more I thought that is the least appropriate place to be practicing TikTok dances in the world. Our gym has banned recording in any way, shape, and form as well. So even if this guy got good at the TikTok dances, he couldn't film it in the gym. He would have to do it somewhere else anyway. Now, 
What else was there? Every time this guy would cock up a Fortnite dance, he would he would audibly swear to himself as well. So when my best buddy Carl and I had to navigate around the changing areas and uh, all of the places where everybody keeps their gym bags or the lockers and stuff like that. It was right in between the gym and this guy doing TikTok dances. So every time we would go and do something, we'd just hear this guy just cuss at himself for screwing up a TikTok dance. I, honestly, it's just stupid. I don't know why anybody would think to go and practice TikTok dances at a gym. That's like the last thing you would ever want to do in the world, right? Is just go spam Fortnite emotes in a place where people go to angrily lift things. Okay, I don't think we've got any uh, sword items. I think we probably want to have a crack at some of these escort quests, right? No, 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 guys. We, we're we're not talking about that anymore. We're not talking about the. Uh, we're not talking about that. We are now talking about this guy doing spamming Fortnite emotes at the gym, um, and uh, spamming Fortnite emotes in the exact place where you have to walk past to get to your things. We, we are now talking about that. Everyone discuss that in chat, or I'll have to hide it from the YouTube. Good grief. All right, Pip wants to go to Prayer Falls. Don't know where that is, uh, but that's a crap reward, reward so we're not doing that. Well. Mason still wants us to take us to the beach. No, no, guys, we're dropping it or I am hiding chat. I will literally mute everybody involved right now. I'm not, I'm not screwing around. No, no, Spamton, you stop that. Everyone just stop. <laughs> Everyone stop because you're doxing yourself. People can find this. People will be able to find you. <laughs> it's not a good thing. Not a good thing indeed. Honestly, think you should. No, no, there's, there's, there's enough already on this stream. No more. Hey, you think we're going to leave the stream because it's 12, 10 a.m. Bye, have a good day. I will have a good day, Tail. You have a great sleep. It's nice to be wished a happy, uh, a happy day for once. Oh, um, Z, how are you feeling? I was really hungover after your birthday party last uh, Saturday night. And then the next day, I didn't sleep very well. I got a hangover. And the next day... All of our hot water ran out. Pretty annoying. So I went to the gym to have a shower. I've, I've fixed up a bunch of stuff around the place. Then I had a band practice with Epic Flying Horse. We played some music. It was really, really fun. And uh, despite the fact that I had uh, no vocal warm-ups, cold showers, uh, <laughs> no safety of anything that day, and also a hangover, we did pretty well. It was pretty cool. Okay, um, I'm, I'm moderating chat now silently from a distance. While well, hungover? Impressive. Yeah, I know, but it's taken a real hit on my voice, unfortunately. I'm basically popping lozenges like candy now. The stream is now Sigma? Yeah, it is. I think Sigmas are attracted to my channel. I'm a Sigma. Yo, screw Alpha. Screw that Alpha, Beta, Omega stuff. Who cares about that stuff? The, the best thing to do is not give two dams what anyone else thinks of you and just be based. Okay, uh, where is... The quest we just picked up, because we did just pick up a quest, didn't we? It was, um, the Worm King's Ring. I don't see. Oh, we didn't put a, we didn't put a Port Crystal at Blue Moon Tower. So we're going to have to walk all the way back there on foot, it seems, which we can do. It's just a little bit annoying. So as soon as we get there, we are going to drop a, um, sorry, this obscene gesture has a point, a Port Crystal. <laughs> which is in a very similar shape to the other action that you would be doing if you were going to do that, that movement. Who said kill them all? Who said that? Hello? Reveal yourself! Okay, very strange. Hey, you know what? I see a bunch of guys in here. I'm going to really, really quickly see... Oh, I was going to light a wall of fire on the inside of that building, but I, I didn't get to. Okay, the fire's working pretty well. Oh, they're coming out from everywhere. Good Scarby. Nice. Oh, she's already started the grappling as well. All right, I'm coming in to help. Oh, oh that works. Damn, nice. Okay, we got no health. We take one more hit. We die. Uh, Val, help. Help me. Uh, good. So there's that one guy with a shield right there. It's kind of tricky. Oh, I thought Val was supposed to be a lot stronger than she actually appears. All right, let's get a, let's get a commission up and running. Because quite frankly, I am sick of this. Let's burn this bastard alive. 
Bang! Nice. Okay, that's the range guy taken out. Ooh, oh, no! Oh, no, we are alive. Good. I looked away from the screen for literally a second. We good? Yeah, guys, make up. <laughs> make up. I like when people get along. I, I don't really like uh, unnecessary uh, kind of conflict. Okay, let's go ahead and get some holy affinity on us so that we can fire and forget at these bastards because they are significantly stronger than I thought they would be. We ju we literally just slept as well. Okay, good. Going to fire those at him so it stunts him. I'm going to walk into this here giant cloud of green. Now we're going to try and get this guy from range. Oh, damn it. He got a shot off on us. Scarby finished him off, fortunately. <sighs> Bye, sorry if I disturb you. It's... It's, it's okay. You, you just, you can't reveal such personal information on the internet because uh, things will eventually happen with that personal information. It's, it's never just like a sweep it under the rug kind of thing. It always happens. It always happens. What else is there? Oh, Z, hopefully you didn't catch what I had. I don't think I got influenza, but I am still kind of like riding off of uh, what I think is a common cold. Because uh, I got the neurogenic fatigue, colds last so much longer than I'd like them to. Oh, apparently we're distributing all of these attacks throughout everyone that's firing their bows at something walking through there. Okay, then. Nice! I took out two archers. I don't know how or what. Oh, they were firing at this guard, but he was already under the the gigantic crenellation right here, so he didn't, he didn't quite uh, have to take anything. That's pretty nice. You shouldn't say those things on them. Yeah, you will get a really bad digital footprint. Uh, it does happen, especially if you're like Chinese, because they've got social communism now. So you gotta like, you gotta, you gotta watch what you say. And now, as a consequence of, of China's social communism, we uh, we all have to agree to privacy policies where people collect your data if you give it to them, which freaks everybody out. Yeah. Now it is a horror story. It does happen, unfortunately. Uh, we gotta go to Blue Moon Tower. That's what we're up to. I think we could also try and bugger the Duke's wife. I think I think we've got a pretty good chance of buggering the Duke's wife if we just kind of like stick to our guns. It's on the way to Blue Moon Tower anyway. We could stop for a quickie. Whoa, look at that. Lady's weapon. That is insane. Is that Markiplier? Did someone make Markiplier? Who is this? Hello. Leonard. Oh. Can I help you? Sad. You okay, bid thee farewell. I hate when people get too comfortable with saying wild things on the internet. I know, it's pretty crazy, isn't it? Uh, whoa! That's a pretty character. Someone spent ages building her. It's a shame we don't need a mage. Yeah, I've found recently uh, that creators have something of a CV, but for creators. I didn't realize this. Epic Flying Horse pointed it out to me. And I didn't realize this, but you kind of have to really stick your whole life out on the internet to get, like, creator deals and sponsorships and stuff. Which is fine. Like, I got nothing to hide. And all of the wrong that I've done in my life, everybody already God knows about it. It's not, it's not necessarily new news, and there's not really going to be anything new popping up anyway. But, like, at the same time, it, it kind of also... It makes you a little bit suspicious, doesn't it? Where if you do stick your entire life up on the internet, that somebody wouldn't just misuse it. Because I would hate to get big and then have kind of like that Mr. Beast situation. Not the Chris thing. Where um they deep faked Mr. Beast doing that contest. That would suck. That would be so awful for me to have my face attached to it. I would hate that with every part of my being. Oh, Holy is not very good against these things. Okay, good to know. Let's try maybe fire, perhaps? Oh, you dick. Get away. Okay, this one's next. Boom. Oh, piss off. Okay, we died. Unsurprisingly, we died. Sometimes it gets to the point where they lie. Well, like with creators, I, I am inher I have an inherent disgust for dishonesty, to be quite honest. Well, yeah, it comes with the freedom of speech thing. Um, honestly, I don't like the abuse of freedom of speech, which I consider just to be lying. I'm going to go back into this stronghold, and I'm going to take the long way around, honestly. And we're going to save a lot more than we just did. Probably want to see if we can't get ourselves some better equipment, actually, before we go. Maybe we need a better staff, do a little bit more damage. Have you ever been at a dark spot at night in your house and stood at the darkness longer to see if anything would happen? Uh, yeah, but usually when I stand in the darkness, it just kind of, like, reminds me that I'm the scariest thing that's standing in the dark at the, at the point. 
The masterworks all. Oh, we do have new weapons. Great. What have we got? New tier. We've got the helical arch archer staff. It is significantly better in every single way. I'm going to buy it. We can certainly afford it. Good God, we can afford it. We've got a million bucks in our pocket. Uh, let's go ahead and equip it. It looks cool too. What about Scarby? What's, can she do anything else? Let's see. There's the Undulant Sword, which I'm pretty sure... Oh, no, it doesn't do anything. Ah, oh, well. Okay, she's going to keep the base one because it does magic damage, which is just free damage over time. Like testing to see if jump scares exist? Uh, no. No, I'm not the kind of guy whatsoever. I'm more of a, um... I'm pretty confident enough in my surroundings that I don't really need to test kind of guy. I'm one of those guys. All right, I'll come over here, go through the field. Yeah, it's kind of weird, isn't it? Like, it, it, coming back to the whole honesty thing and dishonesty, I figured that being honest on YouTube would just be the best option right from the get-go. And it turns out, not only was it the best option, but at the same time, nothing has ever bit me in the ass because I lied about it. I've seen so many people. It's just popped up recently in the last couple of years. So many commentary channels popping up to point out, saying, hey, this guy lied about this and this and that, and uh, what else could he possibly be lying about? And I'm just sitting back here like, heh heh <laughs> Should have told the truth, buddy old pal. It doesn't matter if you got nothing to hide. You, you, you should just tell the truth. It just makes the most sense. It's just I'm scared when I can't see what's going on. That is a fear. A fear of, like, not being able to register your surroundings is a pretty viable fear. So it's fun to wait and see what happens if I stare at my fears. Yeah, honestly, facing your fears is probably a good way of just growing as well. Jesus, look at that guy's breastplate. It's got more breast than plate. Okay, we'll come all the way through here. Getting an itchy nose. We'll come up here. We're probably going to have to deal with those harpies again, annoyingly, but it should be fine. Yeah. I, I, believe it or not, I, I started martial arts because I uh, was afraid of being punched in the face. And I didn't want to be punched in the face. But the irony of that is that while I was doing martial arts, I've been punched in the face a lot. <laughs> Which I don't really... Uh, I, don't, I don't know if it's good or a bad thing, but it's like... Just facing your fears in the first place just kind of gets rid of them. And now it's at the point where I, I just don't care about getting punched in the face, so I'm happy to step in if, if things just get violent around me. It served me really well while I was working uh, security. Bouncing bars and such. Goblin? Oh, I see. Yeah, you're right. There are actually goblins. I thought you were just taking the piss, Scarby. Do you want to maybe engage? Go. Blink spam. Spam your blink strike. Go, go, go. Go, go, gadget, Scarby. Oh, yes, this does damage. I like this, yes. The peppering is actually very effective. Oh, my days. I think we're the ones taking out all of these enemies while our guys just kind of stand around watching. Okay, good. I think the king was the last one to die hilariously as well. Perfect. Okay, let's move on. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and, because I remember that this harpy's up here, I'm going to go ahead and do a save really quickly. Let's save and continue. Because I don't want to die and go all the way back to that city again. That was just heinous. I think we kind of got really unlucky when we got out of the city and there just ended up being all of those guys, right? Uh, let's try fire affinity this time. We know we're about to go into this fight. The harpies aren't just going to spawn in front of us. We'll give ourselves fire affinity. We'll see if it homes in. I won't be too surprised if it doesn't. Even if it, like, misses a bunch. Landing one of these is probably going to be better than landing a bunch of the... Others. Oh, they do home! Perfect! Oh, yes! This is very effective. I love this. Good. It only... I Yeah, it only targets one enemy at a time, though. Yeah, target the boar, you dunce! Target the animal in the background instead of the gigantic harpy that's about to one-tap you, you oaf! You absolute stupid moron! Oh, he didn't pick me up. That's a first. Yeah, that just knocks him out of the sky. That's perfect. I just got unironically angry at the targeting system in this game. That's funny. Okay, uh, we'll come around here because we beat the encounter. Man, all of these people, they don't know what the hell we just faced, right? Scarby is looting. Excellent. Whoa! Look at that! That's like a Dragon's Dogma 2 character. Very cool. Very Gucci. Hey, by the way, the instant I don't use Discord is because I really don't care about it. Neither do I. I, I. I literally only started using Discord for my community on YouTube. 
and there's insane hack risks on there, and a bunch of sketchy stuff. Yeah, there is some sketchy stuff, but you gotta you gotta know which servers are worth joining. That's the thing. Like, not every server is all evil and gross. Most of the servers are literally just people uh, trying to promote their their products or their gaming channels and stuff like that. Other than that, not not a hell of a lot on Discord. Uh, there's a lot of degeneracy around a lot of fandoms. I've found. Like, the furry fandom have a very bad reputation because of a few people who didn't necessarily get known for the fandom, but they did a lot of very, very criminal and heinous things while they were in the fandom, and that's that's bad. Oh, we're being attacked. Okay, I'm going to try save before we get aggressed. Good. Nice. And I'm too young for it. That is good, actually. That That is a good thing. Uh, just kind of knowing where you are safe is a skill that most people don't really get until they're adults, believe it or not. So... Congratulations on your maturity. Okay, we'll go ahead and... I, I think that maybe taking this one out is the best option because he seems to be aggroed onto us. Good. And there's a couple more just running away. I didn't target them. Oh my god, there's a Cyclops. Some Harpies. There's some dogs. What the hell is going on here? What is this clown show? Oh, look, Harpies have come to... <laughs> just absolute... What the hell happened there? I think I just hit a giant explosive. Okay, good. We took out the wolves. Perfect. I think that harpy just crapped out a huge sack of money too. You know, it, it can be a dark place. You, you got to do. You do got to protect yourself. There's a website where you can get a Discord ID and then find their IP. Uh, I'm not really sure about that. Most of the people I know who just ha own computers have VPNs as well. So, yeah, honestly, that would be very hard to kind of verify. Regardless, uh, we need fire. We need fire to beat this. There we go. I, I punched him. Didn't really do anything. I'm, I'm attacking. Nice. Good. I knew we should have yeah, made Scarby keep that fire arrow. It's a good idea. Since I said one wrong thing, there was a reason for an app or a game having an age rating, so it's stupid to be under the age rating of the app to use it. Yeah, a lot of people do think it's stupid to follow. I fully agree, but a lot of people who think that way have already lost a lot of the innocence that they started with because of some situations like that. Like myself, I was um, I was helping out with family affairs way, way younger than I should have been. And as a consequence, I aged really fast. So I do understand that a lot of people do think it's like kind of dumb, but it's very situational. All right, Harpy's about to do a big die. Harpy just died right there and she grabbed out some money. Yes, please. I took that glacial pinion, took that giant coin pouch. It's all mine. Yeah. Yeah, keep yourself safe. That is definitely the takeaway. Uh, here in New Zealand, our age ratings are kind of like recommendations. Like, in New Zealand, it's... The kids start real young. I've seen kids 12 years old smoking bowls of weed. That is insane, is it not? And it's not It's not like it's a, an isolated incident, either. It's a pretty consistent thing. Like, there are groups of friends ju who just turned, like, 10 smoking weed. It's crazy. All right, I'm going to go ahead and use High Commission on... No, we want to use High Levin to stun him, don't we? While Scarby mounts him. I shall strike the head. There we go. Stunned. And he's also lost quite a lot of his HP. Let's go ahead and finish off his grip. Boom. He dropped his cudgel. Nice. And now we're going to fire another shot into his eyeball. As soon as he looks up... Go on, look up, buddy. I dare you. Yep, perfect. Nice. And now I'm going to light a fire right beneath its balls. Yes. Here we go. We're going to roast it. Oh, no. I think Gobble Gob just enraged it. Ah, we still roasted it anyway. This took quite a bit of damage, actually. Half the health bar. Pretty good. I'm really, really tired, though. I hope I recover my stamina by the time... Uh... Okay, we're good. We're good here. All right, guys. Go. Attack. Nice. Fireball right to the eyes. Two arms. Huh. Is that More like eyeball. It has but one eye. Strike it. Yeah, we know. It's a Cyclops. Okay, so we are really, really close to beating it. I'm going to go back to the Thunder. If we can stun it. Boom. Scarby can finish him off or we could finish him off. Nice. We could probably do away with getting rid of Gobbo at, at this point in the first place, right? We, we don't really need Gobbo anymore. Man, Scarby is looting. Look at this. It's like a ransacked building. Look at it go. Good on you, Scarby. 
Take that money. What about that sack right there? You're going to take that one or is Val going to take that one? No, she gave up. Okay. I think she took enough bits. So we still, uh, that is one of the directions we want to go, but the path diverges right here. We don't really want to spend too long coming back here though. So I'm going to use a port crystal right here. Drop that there so that we can fast travel back to it. Nice. You're younger than the age of 18. Maybe it's better to stay away from Discord. Yeah, I mean, a lot of people do use it just to play games as teenagers as well. If it was around when I was a teenager, I definitely would have used it, but it wasn't. So I had to uh, cope with, what was it, Sky. We had Sky. Which arguably in ways is worse and easier to hack. Way easier, to, like significantly easier to hack. Jesus, they, their security is absolute garbage. Uh, we've got, uh, I think these are bad dudes. Let's fire off a few of these rounds and see if we can't maybe antagonize a couple of them. Nice kill, whatever that was. I think that was me. I think I just blew something up. All right, good. Wow, that guy with the shield, he does not resist magic well. Okay, good. I'm still peppering all of these guys. It's a shame we can't kind of like move around while we pepper. It's a real, real shame. All right, we took one of them out. Uh, there's one guy with miasma cloud on his, on himself. I don't know what he's trying to accomplish because he's nowhere near the enemy. I think Scarby just threw a stick at him. That's pretty funny. Okay, what else we got? We have still got a few more of these guys who don't necessarily have any magic resistance. I don't want to be hit by that. Go on. Yep, good shot, buddy. This archer tried to strike me, but he, he couldn't quite land the hit. All right, Val's being attacked. I don't want to be hit by that. Let's go ahead and try and get this guy from behind. Uh, not quite. Oh, there's a blink strike. Damn it. One hit. Are you serious? Oh, my God. Oh, the weird minor stuff on Discord happens every day. Yeah, but it happens by people who are actively doing it. That's the thing. You, if, if people don't just, like, start doing it, those people who were committing those atrocities on the internet, they were doing it in the first place, and they just moved to Discord because it was easier to do or something like that. So if you identify those people and you can keep away them, you can definitely keep safe in just about every platform on the planet. Quite frankly. It's better to socialize IRL if you want to socialize at all. Yeah, I don't get to leave house much, so it's not really an option for me, but it is what it is. Yeah, I know. Yeah. It's fine. It's fine. Like, if you're keeping safe, more power to you. You definitely deserve safety. But at the same time, sometimes it's just not an option. Sometimes you do trust the wrong people, and sometimes those wrong people... Oh, my God, this is so far away. Sometimes those wrong people take advantage uh, when they shouldn't. I think we'll try the Holy Affinity on these dire wolves because they are not harpies. The Cyclops is further over here. That's going to be annoying to take out again. Okay, this does nothing. <laughs> the Holy, it does nothing. Probably want to start looking for a different kind of damage type, honestly. All right, Scarby's getting wailed on. Uh, I targeted the harpy, which is pretty good. That's exactly what I wanted to do. This dog's coming after me. Not anymore, buddy, old pal. Doggo's dead. Uh, oh, the, the Cyclops in the background is actually just sitting down and having a nice little rest. While we fight literally a horde of wolves with nothing. Okay, we need to auto-target, otherwise they don't snap onto the lock. Okay, perfect. Now we can carry on. That was such a good kill with that bomb, I think. That we got on the Harpy. Okay, we'll come up here. Harpy! Hello, Harpy! Knock it out of the sky with a bit of fire. That'll do the trick very nicely. Nice. It's just the community from Discord would affect me really badly. Uh, mine was pretty good. My, my community on Discord is, is very, very good because I personally moderate everything that goes through there. And if something pops up, like, you know, Spamton mentioned earlier, that's getting deleted immediately. Like, that is getting deleted. That'll get a mute and you'll probably catch a ban. Probably catch a ban for something like that. All right, good. Uh, let's get that Harpy out of the way. Don't really want this guy to attack us too much either. Let's go ahead and do a Levin. And we don't want to do it on the Harpy. We only want to do it on the Cyclops right here. Perfect. He dropped his cudgel. That's exactly what we want. And we probably also want to use the gigantic wall of fire at this point instead of the lightning. So I'm going to do that right now. Let's go ahead and charge up the spell. And Comestion is done. The reason I asked earlier if we, if we can do away with either the minimap or the 
uh, skills is because we do need to like wait to cast and some people really like knowing just how fast it can take to cast. All right. Uh, let's get back into the lightning because lightning is pretty damn powerful about against this guy. Discord server atrocities never beats the group chat atrocities. W server owner. Yeah, I know. Um, I just wanted everybody to like have a place where uh, they could actually feel safe on the internet and like kind of connect with people and meet up. And I, I feel like I have achieved it on Discord. It's just that we haven't really had a lot of people who are necessarily degenerates come onto the Discord. I don't think degenerates are really attracted to my channel because I keep on talking about things like mental health and being safe and all of that kind of crap, right? And I don't swear much either. The worst, the worst swears I have is piss and crap. <laughs> <laughs> Which would be bad swears if you're like six, but... Oh, and ass. Ass is a nasty one. Quandale? Hello there, Reef to Tafoya. I'm, I'm not entirely sure what Quandale means, but... Uh, thank you very much for the compliment, or uh, thank you for the microaggression. Very confused. Okay, so we want to push up here, and we want to drop that port crystal up on this hill again. Then we want to save. We should probably save every time we see harpies, honestly, because they have been a pain in our sides. Basically, this entire playthrough. Hard mode, still no joke. Although we are kind of wearing garbage gear. So maybe it's our fault a little bit. Uh, Gobble the Gob has decided to interrupt our action by talking to us. What a twit. Okay, now we want to save, don't we? Because if we come up here, we're probably going to fight a boss. A big boss. Bondale Dingle here. Oh, <laughs> My dad hit me in the back of the head with a steering wheel. That's impressive. Okay. Okay, I'm just going to go to the game. You guys enjoy yourselves. Uh, so up here. Now, I do remember there being a tower up here. We probably want to get fire affinity in advance because I see harpies right up this hill right here. And I'm pretty sure this is where we died. We took on a couple of harpies and one of them won. No, it was a big camp of people. Where was that? I d really don't want to be kind of snuck up on by these harpies, though, so we are going to engage and take them out. Oh, I'm really tired. All right, go. Go, everybody. Go, go. Go, go, Gadget Massacre. This is a very steep hill. Oh, there they are. Yeah, screw that. I'm not going down there. That's an awful place to go. Am I actually going the right way? Maybe I'm not. Maybe I do need to go down the windy path. This is a big tower where the Duke starts locking up the princess. Okay, we're leaving guys. We're getting away from here. We're done with this place. We're leaving. There is no boss down here. I lied. Bondale Dingle is a meme guy. Oh, that's a... Uh, does he have any better memes than uh, dad hit me in the back of the head with a steering wheel? This game looks neat. It's a pretty good one. It's definitely one of my favorites. I've come back to it so many times. It came out back in 2012 and got re-released in 2013 with a, a huge kind of like, it doubled the game size essentially in 2013 with just a gigantic end game. And there's so much to do here. Oh, poos. Uh, that's not good. All right, good. We took him out. That guy cannot hit a side of a barn door. Go, guys. Go, go, Gadget Murder Party. Okay, we're taking a couple of hits there. I'm going to go ahead and just get away from all of that attack. Nice. And now we're going to attack this guy with fire. He's on fire. Not anymore, he's not. Oh, poos. That was close. We almost just took a gigantic load of arrows to the face. I'm going to go ahead and just start emptying into these guys. Quite frankly, they're annoying. Okay, done. Yes! Oh, basically Gen Z humor on crack. Yeah, that makes sense. Okay. Uh, like, uh, is it brain rot, or is it actually just, like, like clever skits and stuff like that? Because I never know. I never know with this kind of stuff. People are like, telling me to go and watch a bunch of channels, and I just don't have time to do so. God, I wish I knew, like, what was going on on the internet. Uh, uh, unless Umpaville has made a video on it, I literally do not have time to catch up with the whole thing. Unfortunately. It's not any skip thingy. Oh, no, it sounds like brain rot to me. Stupid crap, that sounds shocking. Yeah, that's definitely brain rot. All right, go, guys. What are you guys shooting at? Nothing. Let's see if this guy likes holy. He hates holy. That's perfect, actually. That's exactly what we want. Nice. Okay, he's down for the count. I'm going to go back and get the port crystal. Because we kind of need it. We can't just leave it here. 
This is a bad place to look. Let's check the map. I'm lost. I'm actually lost. I don't know this area. Yeah, so we want to go up here, essentially. So we could have gone through the camp that we just found with all of those people. I think we're going to go around it and we want to go north from there. Those are the crossroads road, that we want to stick the port crystal in. Yeah, it's brain rot. Yeah. Okay, makes sense. Not a fan. It's just an honorable mention. I heard a bell in my house. Oh, no. I think you're about to get Elden Ringed. That sounds like the um, spirit ashes. I think, I think uh, you've got somebody coming in from Elden Ring to attack a boss. Somebody must be watching something on TV. Or Sans is about to beat me. Yeah. It could be anything, honestly. It could even be... Um, Bloody Mary. I don't know if you're old enough to have heard that legend. That's what, that's what people were telling me when I was a kid. All of these age ratings and stuff like that. People were telling me stories about Bloody Mary. You say your name three times in a, in a mirror... And she'll come out of the mirror, grab your head, hold your head in the sink, and then slash your neck. That kind of stuff. That's, that's what I got told when I was a kid. Right before Let's bedtime, too. Off. All right, off to bed. Sure Good night. Ah, oh, well. Innocence is an illusion. I'll take that. I heard, like, four giant bells from the TV. Yeah, that makes sense. What do you mean, old enough? I heard of that while I was young? Good. Okay, hold up. I have to uh, really quickly take a call. I'm getting a call from Yinset. That was Yinset. I have to go. I have to go and I have to pick her up. So I'm going to save right here. And for the... Nope, nope, we're already in combat. Got to leave combat first, apparently. So, everybody watching, thank you so much for watching. Right up here, you're going to find the playlist for Dragon's Dogma Dark Arisen. And right up here, you're going to find another playlist that I think you'd really enjoy. Down in the description of this video, you're going to find a link to my Discord, where you can talk to me and my community safely, as long as I see the messages in time, of course. And uh, until I make the next episode or stream that you catch, thank you so much for watching, and goodbye!